This next story is basically strike while the iron is hot. He's only 18 months into a five and a half year deal, Virgil van Dijk at Liverpool. But why not try and get more money out of the club, try and get an extension to the contract and everybody's happy? Well, absolutely, and, and you, you summed it up in, in the opening statement. You strike while the iron is hot. And I, I think this is just Van Dyke's representatives doing as any good representative should. You've got PFA Player of the Year. Um, you come as close as, as you have for quite some time in, in winning a Premier League title. You're newly crowned uh, European champions. I, I don't think anybody questioned that Van Dyke was, was the best player on the park in that final. Given how good and how important he has been to Liverpool, you're right. Go and knock on the door. Who knows what the next 12 months May, may, may have in store. Um, now, now is the time to at least start those conversations and say to, to the board that, yeah, listen, we're interested. We want to hear what, what, you, what you have to say. Yeah, certainly ask the question. How important is it from a goalkeeper's perspective to have someone that good in front of you? Listen, it's important for everybody on the field. The, the value to, that Van Dijk brings um, can't be defined simply by, by position, as in Allison or anybody else around him. I think when you have somebody who is that good, plays with that confidence, everybody else feeds off of it and can build on it. And players know that. Again, representatives also know that. His value goes way beyond what he does individually. It's, it's how the rest of the, rest of the, the team also responds and, and takes their cues off of him. I, I think without question it's only a matter of time before Van Dijk is, is, is named as, 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 as Liverpool captain, true and fully wearing the armband and again I think that takes um, his own value to the club or the higher. Champions League finalists last year, mm -hmm. Champions League winners this year. Is Liverpool now a destination where people want to end up as opposed to a stepping stone to getting to where they want to end up? I think so. And, and there, there are a number of factors to that, more than just results or how close you come in the Champions League. But you look at a, a manager like Jurgen Klopp, you look at the style of football that, that they play, um, and you feel that Liverpool are a club on the up with a manager who, by, by all uh, signs as of right now, is going to be there for the long term, and who can get the best out of his players. You, you, you see that, and as a player, coming in, that's what you want. If you're an established talent, you want to be competing at the highest level, either the league and then the Champions League. If you're a young player coming through and everybody's saying good things about you, you, again, you want to play for a manager like Jurgen Klopp, who will make you even better. Um, so it ticks all the boxes in, in terms of who they recruit and, and where they go from, from here as a club. What's his best attribute and is there anything he needs to improve on? Who's? Van Dijk. Um, I, I, to, to say that Van Dijk needs to improve somewhere, I there's think... There's not much, is there? No, there, there's not. I, and, and similarly, I don't think there's anything, anything that he doesn't do or, or can't do or, or, or can do better. Or that being said, no, kind of back to the original discussion, if I'm his agent, as much as I'm having discussions with, with Liverpool right now, and I know those will, will drag on, you expect, just kind of give him the time of left on his contract, it's going to be at least another year before they really seriously consider putting pen to paper. But in the meantime, um, you know, whispering to clubs like Real Madrid or whatever, hey, listen, he's the best, the best centre-back in, in, in the world. Aren't you interested? And all of a sudden, let you start staying that hornet's nest. I think it plays out all the, all the better when you do finally sit down to, to put pen to paper. Let's end this with something similar. We discussed with Christian Eriksen when he was at Ajax and you and I commentated on him. When Virgil van Dijk was at Groningen, we commentated on him and at times he was just like, yeah, the defenders can sort things out, I want to score goals. He's improved his defensive attributes, mm -hmm. his awareness, his leadership. Did you think that was possible when you first saw him and commentated on him? No, I, I, I didn't think he'd be this good when I saw him at Southampton. <laughs> I, I, I'll be honest, and, and even when Liverpool were paying 75 million and it got knocked back that first year and it was like, well, nope, this is who we're interested in. We're not going to go for anybody else. We're just going to sit and wait. I couldn't understand. I, I really couldn't understand the approach. Now, all of a sudden, you see Van Dyke for, for the last year, well, 18 months, and you think that 75 million and that year that they waited was an absolute bargain 
and every bit worth the wait. So, again, as far as Van Dyke goes, I got it wrong twice. I got sent a photo on Twitter the other day. Virgil van Dijk playing for Celtic against Andrew Robertson playing for Dundee United. Mm. They've done all right since then, haven't they? They have. Um, what, a, what a pairing they, they have been, and, and for the long term. Yeah, Li Liverpool are, have done good with those two. So many things. I was, I was wondering how you're going to make a Scottish link to... to, to oh, okay. Shaka Darling, the best it's things come to those who wait. Just remember that.